I wanted to share with you what I packed and what I wore in Turkey uh, when I went in May. Uh, because a lot of people have asked me what to wear in Turkey or what women are allowed to wear in Turkey, if there's any kind of dress code for women. I did a lot of research on what the temperatures and climates would be in each region I would be at. And I really looked into the outfits I wanted to wear. I planned it out like each day, like I want to wear this or I want to wear that and had a couple options um, because Turkey is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful country. Everywhere I went, there was just something gorgeous to look at. They have unique rock formations. They have like ancient ruins everywhere, beautiful coastal towns. So I wanted to take these gorgeous pictures um, with me wearing some gorgeous outfits. So the first area I was in was in Cappadocia. And Cappadocia is known for those gorgeous hot air balloons that's flooding the sky at sunrise. So the colors are beautiful. And there's like these unique rock shapes in the background. And then there's colorful foreground because a lot of these hotels, they set it up for you to take the most beautiful pictures. Uh, so I knew I wanted to have a beautiful dress for that location. Turns out the entire four days I was in Cappadocia, the hot air balloons did not fly. We just had the worst luck and it was windy conditions. Every day we were there, so they had to cancel them every morning. It was still beautiful and the setting was still gorgeous. So we took some pictures and I still got to wear my dress because a lot of the hotels in Cappadocia are set up with nice rooftops so you can take those gorgeous photos with the hot air balloons I mean, because that's what they're known for. So I got this long maxi dress on Lulu's. I did a lot of my dress shopping on Lulu's because they always have gorgeous dresses for great prices. They range from anywhere from like $50 to maybe $100 max is what I would spend. And this dress was great. It shot beautifully with the colorful setting in Cappadocia. And I love these wrap dresses too, because it gives you like that slim figure. Um, because my hips are kind of big, so sometimes when I wear dresses, my hips kind of st stick out, and I don't like those kind of dresses that accentuate the hips, so I tend to get dresses that um, slim, me, slim me down a little bit more. And these dresses really do it. They have like that slimming effect that I really, really love. Also in Cappadocia, the weather, um, it was like in the low 60s in the mornings. And then in the afternoons, it would usually get really hot. So during the day when we went to the Gorema Open Air Museum, it was really hot. I would say in the mid 80s. So I tried to dress as light as I could. Uh, so I wore some white shorts and uh, this smock top and this, top was great because very sheer um, so it lets uh, and there's like you know it's very light so there's like a lot of airflow coming in so I really love this smock top shirt I really want more of these but I can't really find them um, anywhere else I got this on Lulu's as well and it's kind of hard to find something like this but I got a lot of you know compliments on this as well um, everybody's like wow you look so great in that um, again it gives me a slim look effect so I like that, I know, I love clothes like that. And then some other days of Cappadocia were kind of cold. So if the sun wasn't out um, and if it was like drizzly or about to rain and it was pretty windy, it would get kind of cold. So I had this anatomy outfit, which was great. I had these cool pants by anatomy. They're called an, um, the eye pant. And what's great about this is, first of all, all anatomy clothes are super lightweight. They're actually made for travel. They have lots of pockets. They're stretchy, flexible, and they also dry really fast too, and they're wrinkle-free. And this one in particular is called iPant because they have the pockets on the sides here where you can put like your phone. And so I wore this with this windbreaker jacket and a top from Anatomy as well. This whole outfit was actually Anatomy. I love Anatomy clothes, especially their jackets. They make really cool styles. They always have pockets. They have cool zippers on them. And this one in particular I liked because it has a hoodie on it and you could actually take it off if you want to with the zipper. Um, also, you could tuck it in behind and like zip it up as well. So, so many options with this jacket and it came in really handy, not only on the rainy days in Cappadocia, but I used this for uh, traveling whenever I was on the plane because 
I like the zippered pockets on the side as well. So I would keep like important documents in here, like my boarding pass and my passport and just zip it up. And I would have it handy whenever I needed to board the plane. And then I took one other dress. Uh, this is a long sleeve dress. Um, it's like a midi, midi dress. And I thought it would be, you know, cute to have in one of the settings in Cappadocia with my white sneakers. And I wore this in Passabog. It was like one of the extra days that we stayed in. Cappadocia and explored a little bit more. And then I also had a bathing suit um, because we stayed in Tashkanashka Lodge Hotel, which is in Uchisar of Cappadocia. And that's like the more um, upscale region of Cappadocia. They have more luxurious hotels and they're a little bit more expensive, but the rooms and the views are just outstanding. We got this one room that had this, we had an entire terrace to ourselves and uh, a beautiful jacuzzi with a great view. So we wanted to wear our bikinis and, the, and enjoy the jacuzzi and the views. So definitely had to bring a bikini. I also brought a hat on those days that were super hot in Cappadocia. When we were walking around Guadalajara Open Air Museum, you couldn't find that much shade. So when you're walking from cave church to cave church, the sun was just beaming down on you, so it was really good to have a hat to um, have a little bit of shade. So the next spot we went to was Antalya, and Antalya is on the southern western coast of Turkey, and it's a beautiful location. We stayed in this charming historical town, so it was really small, but very beautiful. We walked around the gorgeous historic area. So in the evening, I wore a black top, the white shorts again. I wore the white shorts several times. <laughs> and uh, this kimono over it. And it made for like really nice pictures with the nice settings. Like they have a lot of pink flowers around the town and it was just, it was so nice. Um, and then I also wore a nice dress, kind of like a beach resort kind of dress. This was a very long dress, um, again from Lulu's. I get all my dresses from Lulu's because they know what's trendy and the material is pretty great and they fit pretty nice as well. So I really, really stand by Lulu's clothes. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Antalya's weather is like beach weather. So um, in May, it was around 70s in the mornings and then during the day, it was like in the 80s. So it did get pretty hot. I also stopped by Perige, which is an ancient city that's about 20 minutes from Antalya and this place has no shade at all and not really any breeze because we're a little bit away from the coast at that point so i have my hat and then um, i wore like this sporty uh black dress and this was great it's easy to move around in it has this cool racer back um open back here and i just i really love this dress because it's just really easy to move around in and it's very lightweight and this one is actually by athleta so they, may, they actually have really cool sporty dresses that you could wear, and I wore white sneakers with it. But yeah, it was perfect for exploring um, an ancient ruin area. So next I was in Kosh, which isn't too far from Antalya, and it's also on the southern coast, and it's a really charming beach town. It's actually really famous for scuba divers, but we went there just to lounge around on the beaches because the beaches around there are so beautiful. So I knew I wanted to have kind of like these resort type of clothes that was colorful and cute. So I found this top, I found it on Revolve, and these beach cover-up pants. I love cover-up pants. They're the best. So they're very comfy, um, and I like this elastic waistband in the back, but you know, it's not elastic in the front, and you can tie it on the front or on the side. Um, wide leg on the bottom but it went really great with like a crop top like this or I would wear my bikini underneath and you know whenever we stop by a beach I would just take it off and have my bikini ready underneath so yeah I was really really love this outfit it's one of my favorites other than that I had a dress that I wore it was actually from Amazon and I just wore a belt with it and kind of walked around the resort we were at but yeah Kosh is just like a super relaxed chill vibe and we spent a lot of time on the beaches and just relaxed 
And then on our way to Pamukkale, we stopped by a little town called Khao Khan, and it's really close to Kosh. We thought we would stop by really quick and take some cute photos because we saw, like, again, you know, it's a charming little beach town. So I wore my white shorts again, and I wore like this bell sleeve top, which was like off shoulder. I normally don't wear shirts like this, but I thought this was really cute and would match like one of those coastal towns in Turkey. So I really like this outfit and this top. So next we stopped by Pamakala, which is famous for those thermal springs that look like snow. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous and it blows your mind uh, when you first see it because, or still when I look at it, I'm like, wow, what a beautiful location. It's just so unique. I knew that I wanted to have a bathing suit that would pop in the photos. So I found something that would pop. I got this red and black bathing suit I actually found this on Amazon and I thought it was really cute. It fit really nice. I really like this Amazon bikini a lot and it came out really great in the photos, just like I wanted. And yeah, I highly recommend this bathing suit. It's not bad for the price and I mean, it's from Amazon. And then afterwards, I wanted to check out another ancient city, which is in the same location as Pamukkale Thermal Springs. It's like right next to it or it's within that area since we were at the pools in our bathing suits instead of changing out of my outfit i thought i would just wear this black wrap skirt you know the top was kind of like a cute crop top so i wore this and the wrap skirt together at the ancient ruins and i mean i thought it worked out great and then i also had these beach cover-up pants that i wore an extra day in kosh and an extra day in pamakala because I love colorful beach pants and yeah, these were great too. And these actually have an opening um, on the sides, which gave it a kind of a different look. Guess where this is from? Lulu's. <laughs> and the last city we stopped by was Istanbul, which was huge. So we had a lot to explore. And one of the things you can explore in Istanbul and what they're well known for are their mosques. And this is where you have to dress specifically for women. You have to cover your head and then you also have to make sure your shoulders and your knees are covered. So something like this with a headscarf, uh, you just have to put it around your head. I actually bought this scarf ahead of time online on Amazon and I really like the colors on it and I knew I wanted to use it not just for um, covering my head at the moss, but I used it a lot as like a ponytail holder and put it in my hair a lot to have colorful photos. For the moss and when I was walking around town, I would wear a skirt, a long skirt, a long mini skirt and a black top. So this was a super comfy outfit that I wore. And then when it was cold, because in Istanbul, it was actually cold in the mornings. It was 60s in the mornings and the evenings. And during the day, it was really nice in the 70s. Um, but in the mornings, I would wear like a jean jacket to keep myself warm. But by the time it was in the afternoon, I didn't need a jacket anymore. Um, and then I also had a couple other dresses. This is one of them. Um, this is one of my favorites. I actually wear this a lot because I love the pockets. And then this black dress, I wore a lot too, because it was, I like the poofy sleeves and I like that it was solid black and it matched a, with my silk scarf when I wore it in a ponytail. And then finally, this dress. I wore this dress at the hotel, at the Henna Hotel in Istanbul, which is located in Sultanahmet. They have this beautiful rooftop terrace with a view of Hagia Sophia. And so you can take lots of gorgeous photos and I knew I had to have a dress there as well. So this is the perfect dress to have to take those wonderful photos of Turkey's beautiful scenery. And so for this entire trip, I only needed three pairs of shoes. I needed flip flops for the beaches and sandals for the beach towns when I walked around in like my dresses or shorts and some sneakers when I did a little bit of hiking or you know a little bit more walking in Istanbul. Other than that some essentials that I always carry with me in my travels is a bandolier. Um, we've done several videos on bandolier explaining what it is and how awesome it is but it's basically a crossbody iPhone holder um, and you can switch out the straps, uh, the cases, 
And the cool thing is that they have a pouch in the back where you can store your credit cards and identification. So you have everything in one. Um, and I really like this because I never lose it anymore. I never lose my phone anymore. And I always have my cards with me. So this is always great to have. And also I always take my PackSafe anti-theft backpack. This is the CitySafe CX. And I really love this backpack because it fits so much. Um, it's stylish and I put my camera in here and other um, things that I need while I'm traveling, um, exploring sites. And also it has these awesome anti-theft features where you, know, you can lock it in securely or do a double lock up here so that you, know, you can um, deter the thefts. And that's what I packed for two weeks in Turkey in May. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.